What's up YouTube and today it is time to sand down some of the back bumper and fix the dents and we got to smooth out the bottom part. So let me show you. We've been over this quite a few times if you've been on the channel already, but we have a spot here, here, and here. And we also have some chips and stuff from rocks or something down here. So the first thing we need to do is clean this entire bumper off with soap and water and then rinse it down, make sure everything's dry. I'm gonna back it into the garage and we're gonna begin working on repairing this. Uh, I will show you what we're using. We're using Bondo plastic bumper repair. Never used this before. Not sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go and we're only prepping it for wrap, so it just has to be smooth and look good. So let's get to it. So we got the bumper really clean, at least clean enough for what we're gonna do. Um, I did notice some more spots after we got it clean. So we got this one right here to try to work with this one, that one, those are the main concerns. Um, I got a little nick here, we need to sand down maybe. I don't know if we need filler, we should be able to just feather that out, make it smooth. Um, everything else should be good. It won't show through the wrap. There's a little nick right here we need to fix. And then obviously, the uh, spots under there, you can really see it now. Um, and I want to I want to sand this down and kind of smooth this out from where the exhaust was. Um, then we got a little spot here, here. The main ones we're going to do for this video is uh, these main spots and then ones on the bottom. Everything else I'll probably mess with a little off camera. Um, and I'll show you at the end of this video how it turned out just because I don't want to bore you guys with all the little things and I want to focus on trying to get them as best as possible and it's not super easy trying to film everything by yourself and do that so we're going to try to get the main things done first the things it takes filler um, and then the other spots I will work with as we go the next step after this is either to do the bondo on the doors and the rear quarter or to start working on this hood we haven't got the names filled up yet so i kind of want to start I need, to, I need to catch up on all the names try to get it done before we sand this down uh still need to get another fender as well for the other side but it's definitely coming along um i did promise i'd show you guys the interior after i got the other door done so there is the passenger side here is the driver's side haven't uh, put any cleaner nothing on them yet but it has turned out absolutely fantastic especially for dye shout out again to color bond for that as well all right so for this i'll be using bondo bump repair kit and if you open this up I'm trying to do this without everything falling out you have your paper and instructions you have a little like grid sheet in case you have a hole you need to fix you have your exact mix hardener two hardeners actually and two of your fillers. So all I do is one pack of filler, one pack of hardener, spread that out. We have adhesion promoter, uh, so for plastic trim, attachments, blah, blah, blah. And then we have, it's gonna fall, I know it is. Yep, we have the spreaders and uh, sandpaper assortment. I also have another pack of sandpaper. This is what we use on the rest of the car. So if we need something different than what this kit has, we have that as well. And I also picked up a just basic rubber sanding block uh, made by Master Pro from O'Reilly Auto Parts, just so we have a sanding block. Make sure you grab a dust mask or respirator. That's all I got, so that's what we're working with. Uh, we use a sanding block after we get the filler and we do our final sand. However, uh, after using wax and grease removal, we'll start with 80 grit and then go to 180. So we're gonna start at the surface area, get down to the plastic. And then we are going to do 180, get down to the plastic. We're gonna go two, two inches outside of the fixable area. I'm gonna get here, here, here. Come down here, we're gonna get these spots just so we can put a light coat of filler over that. Um, 
I don't know if I'll put anything on that. We should be able to just feather that out smooth or smoother than that. Um, same with this, this spot. We will put a little bit right here just so we can like kind of sand that out and smooth that out as well. And I believe that is the only spot on here that we'll be using filler. So we can wait to use the 320 later on the other spots. So let's get to it. I think I've been standing for almost an hour, an hour and a half now, finding every little spot that's wrong with this car on this rear bumper. So let me show you what I did. So I took the air compressor and blew most of all the dust off. Um, I feathered out this right here, made this very smooth. Um, it's not perfect, but it's probably gonna get messed up when I put the tips back anyways from the heat. So I'm not too really worried, worried about that. I can't really see it. I got this spot here, this spot here. I got, I got all these pretty smooth. Um, this got a little, these really aren't that bad. They're pretty smooth to cross. This has a dip in it that we're definitely going to have to get filler on. Um, this one's not too bad either. I got a little bit of scratch. I need to go over it some more and get this down. Um, ah, let's see. I got these. I got to go over some more. Um, down here as well. Got most of that out. Still got to get some of that as well. Um, micro scratches and that are deeper than the clear coat. Um, right here, a little spot right there. Got this side pretty good. Still got to get that little notch out there. I believe that's it. Other than, yeah, I did show you down here at the bottom. Quite a bit I've already done on this. Um, I'm exhausted already. So I don't know if this is going to get finished today. But uh, I'm going to make sure everything's good before we put filler on there. And then I'm going to follow the instructions to clean it. Um, I'm going to use the adhesion promoter pads. I think I have to go over this again with like wax and grease removal or something. Um, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. Um, for the rear bumper, there's a lot of spots. There's a lot of imperfections. The front bumper is not going to be too bad. I'm going to take it off and do the same sort of thing. Um, I'm happy with what it looks like right now. Um, so I'm ready to get obviously the bondo on here and then get everything re-sanded and then uh, I guess we'll put primer over it. I don't know if it's better to leave the filler just how it is and sand everything out or put primer over it considering it's getting wrapped. I got to do a little research on that and the adhesion side of that because I don't want the wrap to come off. Um, not sure, but definitely happy to get each little, little minute thing fixed because I'm a very... I try to be as perfectionist as perfect. That doesn't even make any sense. I try to be as perfect as possible. There you go. Don't know what I just said. So this is one step in that direction. I'm excited to get the rest of the car done. But uh, without further ado, let me get back to finishing this up. And then we will figure out how um, to clean the surface and get the Bondo put on here. All right. So it's a little darker. I got everything how I want it. So we're going to use... We're going to wipe everything down, but we're also going to use this 3M adhesion promoter that came in the kit. We're going to wipe all the spots down that has to be filled with body filler. And then we are going to mix up our mixture. Then we're going to apply our coats, even, even thin coats, um, until we get it built up a little bit higher than the level we want. Once it cures and dries, we'll sand it all down. Then we will prep this entire bumper for a prime. And so what I'll do is I'll tape off everything and I'll hit the spots that we sand it down with primer and stuff like this doesn't really matter um we'll wet sand that out but any spots that are like this we will hit with primer and then we will wet sand the primer after it is cured um we'll probably start at 600 go up to i'd say 800 you could do that wet sanding i want to go all the way up to at least a thousand or two thousand just to make sure everything's smooth but the rule of thumb is if you can feel anything with your fingernail then you can feel it 
or see it through the wrap. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, so we got all the Bondo sanded down. It is really late. Um, I only did 80 grit. Still gotta go over it and get everything smooth before we can set it for prime. Um, it all turned out fantastic. Um, better than I expected. There's a whole lot of work because I, I got put way too much Bondo in some spots, but everything is good to go now. Um, don't know if you can see um, you really can't. You can see it in person that that dent is gone. I still feel a little indention right here, but it's nothing I'm gonna mess with any longer. Um, you can kind of see here there is no indentation anywhere on this, so I'm happy with how this turned out. It's got a lot more work to do. Um, so yeah. I'm going to get cleaned up, and then we're going to get at this probably not tomorrow, but the next day, um, and then finish this video out. That way you can see the end result of the rear bumper all in one video. So I'll catch you guys in a few days. Alrighty, so it's a couple days in the future. Um, we got the bumper ready to be primed. I uh, hit it with 80 before we ended the video, then I hit it with 180 this morning, then 320. And then I masked everything off good enough so we could hit this car with primer. Uh, I got to do one final like blow down and make sure everything and all the dust has gone off the car. But we're going to hit with uh, our primer. The primer we're going to be using is uh, automotive primer sealer, bonds to base coat, metal fiberglass, and more. Um, this was what was recommended for primer before wrap if we're just gonna leave it with exposed primer, which we hopefully are. Then afterwards, we should be able to sand this down. I'm gonna have to look at the sanding sequence of what grits we're gonna need to kind of feather this all into the clear coat that's around it like this. Just feather it out so everything's smooth so when you lay the wrap on it, we're good to go. Um, I'm excited. I had to get some masking paper and this is not the right stuff because this is way too thick. It's kind of like drop, uh, drop paper for painting but that's all they had so i'm not even gonna bore you anymore let's get straight to priming all righty guys so we got the primer on here i got two coats we're gonna wait about four hours before we wet sand it four hours is normally the wait time for dry sanding however i'm gonna wait that just to make sure everything is good. Besides, it'll be after work before I get this done anyway, so it'll definitely be ready to sand. Um, everything came out great. You can't really see on camera because it's not gonna focus too well, but everything came out super good. Better than I expected. It's a little rough down here still, but when we sand it, it won't be bad. Besides that at the bottom of the car, I just wanted to try to get some of those big chips and little nasty chips from the rocks out. And we did that. So wet sanding it should not be a problem. Same thing with a little bit of the grain here. All right, so we're back. We got our Dawn dish soap and water. And we also got some water in here. Got a, I think that's a, a 500 grit sandpaper soaking in there. I also got 
um, some higher grit that I'm gonna soak after using that. So I just hit all this with like a light mist of soaking water to get everything wet and I guess kind of lubricated surface so that the wet sanding um, is best. We're gonna let that soak. Someone said let that soak for 30 minutes. I don't know about that. Um, that's the only, I've only read that in one place. No clue what I'm doing, so. We're just gonna try to wet sand it and see how it goes. Um, might have to wipe it dry, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but let's get to it. All right, so after one bumper ruined and a wet sand that is done, um, I'm just kidding, it's not ruined. It looks like it is though, it looks terrible. I really got way out in the clear coat and you can see how dull it is. However, since I did this, everything is so smooth. And you still see, you still can see scratches in the finish. However, we sanded it so fine grit that it's all super smooth, which won't show through the wrap. As long as it's smooth, it's good. It doesn't look pretty, and it still needs to be washed a little bit, but it is super smooth. A lot of this came off in this spot right here because I didn't have a whole lot sanded down. There's not really any Bondo. However, it's also super smooth. Ain't got to worry about it. This, super smooth. Everything, super smooth and flat. Transitions feel great. Doesn't look pretty, like I said. Don't really know what I was doing. However, I'm happy with the finish. To be honest with you guys, that's going to be the end of this video because that's all we were doing is just sanding this bumper down, getting ready for wrap. I would say this is wrap ready. However, I'm thinking about getting a little piece of wrap to try on some of this just to make sure nothing pulls off and everything looks good underneath. It should. But for my first time, this was tricky. It was kind of confusing. Um, researching things online wasn't the best. However... We managed to make a super smooth bumper and fix the dents that we originally wanted to fix. So either way, it is better than what it originally was. And we even got all this out down here. You can't see it very well, but it's super smooth. It's almost like it's brand new down there. Just doesn't look like it for now. Uh, the new bump, the new fender is ordered. Uh, unfortunately, the other side was out of stock and we had to actually spend double what that one costs to get the other one however it is on its way should be here like may 20th so that should be the last thing to go on this car we have until then to try to finish this entire car and i'm looking forward to finishing all the other spots in other videos that section will be one video that back section i'll probably do just on my own or make a short video and then the bumper we're going to take off and do it almost just like this maybe not to the full extent I don't know how bad it is. And then we're going to leave that bumper off until we go get it wrapped, just so we don't get any dirt, debris, bugs, nothing embedded in our finished bumper cover. So without further ado, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got criticism or like anything that could help me out with future projects, leave it down in the comments because I do not know what I'm doing. So don't try this at home, at least following this guide. Um, but if you do know what you're doing, Leave a comment because I'd like some, you know, input on how to actually make this look better and more professional because I know this looks like crap. But I hope it's been a good one. This is a longer video than usual, so I'm exhausted. I'll catch you guys next time.